except for 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and 6, 6. This video is about probability and we will be looking at real exam question, SPM 2017. Hey, I'm Miss Isha and if you are new here to my channel, please consider subscribing. It will help the channel very much. This particular question will give you three marks. A bias cube dice is thrown. This is not a fair dice. If it is fair, then the probability of getting one two, or two or three or four or five, six, it's going to be one over six each because we do have six flat face in a dice. That is not the case over here. This is not a fair dice. So it's not going to be one over six. The probability of getting four is actually 1 over 16 and the probability of getting other than 4 is equal to each other. It means that to get 4, we have 1 over 16. So to get other than 4, we have to take 1 minus 1 over 16, which we will have 15 over 16. But we have to remember we have five more sides to consider. So we have to take this 15 over 16 and divide it by 5. We will have 3 over 16, which means the probability of getting 1 or 2 or 3, not 4, or 5 or 6 is 3 over 16. If the dice is thrown twice, when we throw the dice for the first time, we will have six possible outcomes, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Same goes when we throw the same dice for the second time, which we have six possible outcomes as well, which is one to six. So we have six possible outcome times with six possible outcome, we will actually have 36 possible outcome. Therefore, we're going to have 36 possible outcome all the way from 1-1 one, one until 6-6. Six, six. The question here is, find the probability of getting two different numbers. So, if we take a look at all the possible 36 outcomes, most of them are different number, except for 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and 6, 6. So, if we want to find the probability for all this different number, which is 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, it's going to take us forever. So, you don't want to do that. We will not do that. So what we're going to do here is we will do the complement way, which is we will take 1 minus with probability of getting two same number. So 1 minus the probability of getting 1, 1 or 2, 2 or 3, 3 or 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6. Okay, so all this we will put as a summation in one bracket then one minus okay the probability of getting one one is actually just now we know the probability of getting one is actually three over 16 right so to get one one will be three over 16 times three over 16 so we will put that in a bracket because this same value gonna repeat for five times because we have the same value for one one two two three three five five and six six right so rather than adding up one by one i will just put five in front of the bracket so this one we will have the summation for all the five possible outcomes plus with 
probability of getting 4, 4. Because probability of getting 4 is actually 1 over 16. So to get 4, 4, it would be 1 over 16 times with another 1 over 16. So we will have the value over here. So the next step would be 1 minus the answer for this big bracket. So we calculate this and we will actually get 23 over 128. 1 minus 23 over 128 and we would have 105 over 128. So there you have it. That's the final answer for probability of getting two different number. So if you gain something from this video even a little bit, please smash the like button and do consider subscribing, okay? I will be posting real SPM question from year 2016. We are still in the same chapter and that is not a three marks question. It's going to be six marks. So you don't want to miss that. So ring the bell button, okay?